Many of the happy motorists on today's highways drive cars who bear the names of famous men who were responsible for our wonderful horseless carriage. This is the story of one man who never got his name on a hubcap, Hector Heathcote. It wouldn't even fit. Here we are, Your Honor, Mayor, sir. Just the right size and the latest style, too. Very good. I'll take them. And they're guaranteed for three months or a hundred miles, whichever comes first. Great things, horses. Just sit on them and they go. Eh, uh, why don't you get yourself one, Heathcote? I've been saving for one, Your Mayorship, uh, sir. Good. And with this, I might just have enough. So filled with excitement, Heathcote headed for Happy Hiram's Used Horse Lot. Yes, sir, Sonny. Best pie on the lot. Owned by a little old lady school teacher. Never rode faster than a trot. <laughs> Perfect health, Sonny. Listen to that uh, strong breathing. Tell you what I'm going to do, Sonny, because I like your honest face. I'm going to let you have this snag, a uh, horse, complete with a 40-mile guarantee for a ridiculous giveaway rock-bottom price of $35.95 and no haggle. $33.95, $13.95, $11.95. I only have $360, sir, and I need transportation. $360? $360. Keep your money, Sonny. Happy Hiram will give you free transportation. <laughs> Back at the shop, Heathcote pondered over his problem. There must be some other way besides horsepower, some kind of horseless conveyance. Steam, that's it, steam power. And so a great idea was born, an idea that could revolutionize travel. I'll call it the Hector Cycle. Yes, the Hector Cycle was a brilliant idea. There was just one minor thing wrong, though. How do you steer it without a horse? Look out, everybody! Look out, everybody! Look out there, sir! Thirty days, half September, April, June, and Hector Heathcote. I was going great till I lost control. Now, the next time... The next time? You are going to build another? Oh, yes. I'm going to put a wheel on for steering and add more power. The days and nights pass quickly. And finally... Good morning, Mayor, sir. <clears throat> I hope these 30 days have taught you something, Heathcote. Oh, they have, sir. They have. I can hardly wait to get back to my shop. It wasn't long before Model 2 was ready for testing. I'll call this one the Hectormobile. And it seemed like Heathcote had solved his problems. I said it only seemed like it. He could steer and he had power. Of course, with any motor vehicle, someone is needed to do the steering. Look out! Look out, everybody! Heathcote! Heathcote! Look out, Mayor, sir! Thirty days? Thirty days! Now, like most men of vision, Heathcote was not easily discouraged. Only the town was. And while Heathcote forged ahead with his dream of a horseless carriage, the mayor and his committee took a dim view of the whole enterprise. I tell you, Hector Heathcote is a menace to our town. What can we do? It's not against the law to invent. I'm sure I have all the bugs out of this model. Just apply the brakes. You do have brakes, don't you? All those in favor of my suggestion say aye. 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 Help this thing, Heathcote! I, I can't, uh, Your Worship, sir. No brakes. Thirty days. Thirty 
three days! Heathcote, since you can't afford to buy a horse, the town council voted to give you one free. Oh, thank you, Mayor, sir. Thank you! Provided you won't build any more horses, Jerry does! And so it was that the proud name of Hector Heathcote was lost to the motoring world forever. Now, weren't we lucky? <laughs>